Hey guys, so I am going to do a face swap on this photo right here. So um, this is just me recording my screen just to kind of show um, a quick and easy way to do a face swap because I love this photo of little birdie and her little smiley face, but mama's mid blink. So we're going to put this face on this picture. Okay, so here we go. So first off, I'm gonna start over here with this one. I like to bring my window out a little bit so that way I could see both of the um, files. So over here, I'm going to click and drag this over here. So that way I've got both images in one, um, one Photoshop file. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my rectangular marquee tool and select kind of the area that I'm going to copy over, hit Command J, and then that way I have this little cutout right here that I'm going to overlay on that. Next, I like for opacity, I like to bring it down a little bit just so that way I could see the images lined up. Hit Command T, and then that way I can transform it to match it up. So let me zoom in. Um, here we go. So I'm trying to like line up over there and the most important thing is to line up the areas where um, the baby is kind of mom's hands are matching up because that way it'll be a much smoother edit. But the, the biggest thing that we'll be copying over is just her face right here. So I look for the edges of where the edge of the smiley face will be to match it up with the edges of her face elsewhere. So when you're lucky and have a couple different shots from one, um, one, you know, setup, it's kind of easier this way because that way everything pretty much lines up um, seamlessly. So let me just kind of bring that there, and I think that's about close enough. Okay, hit enter. Now I'm going to bring my opacity all the way back up. And then I'm going to click right here. This is to mask the image. So I'm going to mask it, and then I'm going to do Command-I to invert it. Now I'm going to go over here, click the brush, and I like to start off with it pretty, well, let's keep it pretty, pretty soft right there. Um, so I've got hardness at zero, size, it's kind of relative. You can kind of see what works best. Um, Opacity, flow, leave all that the same. So right here, I'm just going to paint over where I want the new face to be. So, ta-da, here's the transformation. So this is one of my little secrets because especially when it comes to sibling photos, it is like winning the lottery trying to get all kids to look at the camera and smile at the same time. And of course, babies like to smile like when everybody else is not ready. So um, I always try to make sure I capture those smiles. And I have lots of tricks where I can, I can tell when a baby is starting to like breathe a certain way that um, they're about to smile. So I always make sure I'm ready and like watching all of the different like body movements of the baby. So anyway, so that's pretty similar there. I got a little bit of mom's hand in there because that way you can't really tell as much. So what I like to do is click before and after, so that way you can see any little imperfections that need to be fixed. So for instance, over here, you can see on mom's sleeve that, you know, I kind of over brush stuff on. So now I'm going to invert this, or if you hit X on your keyboard, go up here, and then hardness, I like to go like 50 to 60%. Okay, click that, oops, there we go. Hit brush again. I like to use the little like, bracket keys to kind of change my brush size and then go over here and just kind of paint around where those imperfections are okay and then you can see bottom seam of her shirt right there let's fix some of her hair and this is just me unmasking or masking off the areas where I overbrushed okay now I'm gonna get a little bit more of the wrap go and then that should be pretty seamless so oh I missed a spot right here okay everything else lines up pretty good 
Okay, so command zero, you can see right there now there is the image. So before, after, before, after. I'm going to go ahead and just finish off this image too so you can watch that. So let me hit flatten image. Okay, I'm going to crop it in just a smidge. So hold on shift, bring it in because that way I like to have the, the lines right there. Enter. Um, okay, so I like to go in, get rid of some of these little flakies that are the bigger ones. I have another action I use that I can get rid of some of those smaller ones, but I like to get a majority of the chunks off. Um, there we go. And then I'm super OCD, and so seeing this, these little flyaways right here drive me nuts, so I'm kind of getting rid of those. This, I'm just using this spot healing tool right here. You can also hit J on your keyboard to get that shortcut. So there's a couple right there on Mama's face. Oops, I did a little bit too much. But oops. I didn't want that tool. There you go. Patch tool. Okay, let me get my little right there. Um and then I also help moms out too with any under eye circles. So we'll do that in a little bit. Um, let me just kind of get rid of some of these right here. Okay, and then got this. Kind of help her out too right here. So if people wonder why it takes so long to get their newborn photos back, it's because I have crazy OCD when it comes to shooting and editing. So I can't unsee certain things. Like for instance, this right here, this is kind of driving me crazy. So I'm going to liquefy that. So you do shift command X and then we're going to just liquefy right here, make her wrap a little bit more round. Okay, and then I like to help moms out by just kind of making them look a little bit more awake. There we go. There we go. Okay, awesome. Mark it right there. Okay, awesome. There. Okay, and I've created some of my own little actions I like to do because I like to use portraiture and there's a whole bunch of steps within portraiture that I like to use for skin smoothing that everyone has to kind of create your own little settings if you use that plugin. So I've already done that, so I created my own actions um, with the settings that I like. So then what I do is go in here, I have it masked off, I'm going to brush off the areas that I want a little extra sharp. Okay. Go like that, and then of course sharpen here. Nails, baby hair, baby headband from Birdie Baby Boutique. She's my go-to for all things headband. Okay, awesome. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to adjust baby's skin tone a little bit. So I know this looks a little pale or greenish. I adjust it once I paint it on. So kind of go through there. Okay, and then give her some more color right there. Perfect. So let me get some reds out. Okay. And I do notice skin tone, there's like a tiny bit too much yellow, so I'm gonna just pull some of that out. Give baby a tiny bit more color. Okay, let me give baby a little bit of some blush on her cheeks. Oh, too much. Let's go here. Bring down softness, bring down opacity and flow. Okay, bring this down. 
get rid of some of that now. I always like to flush their cheeks up a little bit. Let me help Mama out too and give her a tiny bit. I keep things pretty subtle and pretty like true to life where I just try to polish natural beauty. Okay, let me do a little bit of eye sharpening. And then I'm going to help out her under eyes just a tiny bit just because I know those first few weeks, like when you have a newborn, it's just kind of crazy. So um, I'm going to just go ahead. I like this is where it's at. I'm going to just flatten that. And then I've also created another action. If I can find it because I have like 5 million on here. There we go. Okay. So I created another action. I made this a light or another layer and I created this under the lighten blend mode. And then I'm going to use a very soft stamp on this lighten blend mode. Okay. Oops. Too much. Okay, and then sometimes if it's too much, I'll just kind of and then I can mask some of that off. If that helps a little bit. Let me just bring it down and make it more realistic. There we go. That is the final image. You can go ahead and flatten this, and then let me show a before and after. So, before, after, before, after. Thanks for watching.